Why, Jack? What a wonderful costume. Why? Because I have all the ingredients for a Julius Caesar salad. It's not Julius Caesar salad. It's, it's not? Caesar salad, Julius version. Oh, boy. And we're going to do other things, are we? Yes, we're going to do a whole array of different salads for you. Good. Let's get going. Happy cooking. Bon appétit. We're going to start out with a perfectly plain green salad, maybe one of the best things of all. I agree entirely with you. It used to be that 20 years ago in the supermarket, there was two salads, ramen and iceberg. Now, you cannot go to a restaurant until you get like 15 types of grain, right? Yes, which they make But we're doing up. minimalist cooking here, one salad. And this is the Boston lettuce, I think one of the best. The first thing that I do, removing a couple of the leaves if they are really wilted from the outside. We can keep that for soup. And then I remove the core of it. And this, frankly, I usually chop it and put it in my salad, you know? So I, I slice it. Don't slice, waste the thing. That's slice very it coarse, yeah, I put it in water. Now, on the other side, at the first layer, you remove the top, which is a bit tough, and on each side of the rib. I mean, what you have left here is basically each side of the rib and that part, which is tougher, you know, you remove, and the rib. You do that for the first layer which is a bit tougher, you know? And not many people, I think, understand a good salad. People don't really know how to prepare it properly and you get it bruised. You have to be French to know, unless you're taught by well, a real Frenchman. That, that think that's... makes sense, it makes sense. Now, at the second layer or two, again, I remove a little bit of those. And now I can cut in the middle of the rib. You know, now it's more tender. When you go around this way and so forth, and very often, actually, we keep the heart of the salad to be served mm -hmm. in a different way. In fact, maybe I'll keep this one yes, here. We can use it maybe Good. some other way. During the teens and the 20s, but people didn't eat salads, I think. Only sissies ate salads, or, or French people, yeah. wasn't it? So you mix it gently in there, the sand or dirt fall to the bottom, and then you have to lift it up gently from the water, because if you pour it into a colander, every dirt goes back into the salad. In addition, people will take the salad and kind of squeeze it, which you cannot there, it gets wilted, you know? So gently, you have to grab it out of the water. Yeah, there is some sand in the bottom mm -hmm. here. This, of course, is the bottom of my spinner which we put here, those are great. This is a very modern spinner. Yeah, it really removed everything. You know, and this, can you imagine if that's still very fast here? Mm -hmm. And then there is a break here. Isn't that great? So here you can see that that salad is really dry. You can also see out of that salad, I remove like four or five tablespoons of water. If you don't do it properly, then that's going to dilute your dressing and your salad is dead. So, are we doing a simple dressing? We're going to do a simple dressing. I always put a little bit of chopped scallions, even in the most simple dressings. I'm not going to put any garlic in this. No garlic. Well, this we can not have it if you want. A standard dressing without garlic. You want a little bit of uh, a little bit of mustard. That much? Yep. I've okay. That's to be a standard. And then a bit of lemon juice and salt. My standard dressing is slightly different. Garlic, red wine vinegar. Do you want some more? Well, that's, that's fine. Good. That's a good dressing, too. What oil do you want? 
I want an excellent olive oil. Do you have one here? Just a little bit. Do you like herbs in yours? Yes. Like a little tarragon? Depending on during the summer, of course, when there is a lot of herb in the garden, I mm -hmm. put herb all over the place. We, we can are... use some black pepper. Black pepper is the best Today's for that. Today's all right. OK. So the salad has to be cleaned properly. It has to be washed properly. And it has to be drained without bruising it. And it has to be cool, but not ice cold. And very important, you have to have the right amount of dressing. Not too much, but enough. And it has to be tossed just before you use it. And I hate it when people put salad on a plate and then they pour dressing over it and you want all the leaves coated with the dressing. Exactly. So you toss it in a large, large bowl, even larger than that. Then you put it into your serving bowl. And we can put, you want a little bit of tarragon on top of it? Yeah, this is a beautiful salad, just like this, just simple, nice Boston lettuce. Mm, that looks and very nice. Yes. I'll just eat one of those. You see those pieces here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. good. Well, that's all there is. You could sprinkle a little a bit of parsley tarragon. and tarragon. Chervil would be very good, too. You'd put that on just at the last minute. Green on and green. And then you'd serve it at once, really. And some people say that the dressing should be made with a wooden spoon. Deborah, what do you think of this? I think it makes less noise. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> the famous Caesar salad. This came into being in the 1920s. And I remember I was about eight or nine years old. And my family, who always seemed terribly elderly to me, they were probably around 20, 30, we all went down to Tijuana, just north of the border between California and, and Mexico. And we went to Caesar's restaurant and saw him making the salad. It was very, oh, everyone, it was written up, because at that point, people weren't really eating salads. So it was a very exciting moment for them, certainly. And we're going to do the real one today? We're going to do the real one today. OK. Have to get the various with? things we need, which we need some garlic croutons. Would you make me a little mashed garlic and salt, and then we'll, I'll mix it with a bit of... And it's always olive oil. done with, uh, with a romaine lettuce, right? Always romaine, yep. Yes. So... This, a little mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Then a little salt in it, and then... A bit of salt on it. The salt will abrase it. Mm -hmm. And then mash it down with a bit of olive oil. Can you do that directly in the bowl, or do we have to mess up the table? Because well, we don't want the garlic right in the salad, so it's going to go. Well, it can go here. You don't want the, the dressing in the salad. I don't want the garlic in the salad. After all that work. After all that work, but we're going to get the essence of it. Okay. I'll put a little bit more, and we'll stir it about, and then that's going to go into this little frying pan, and we're going to sauté the croutons. Oh, this is the way it was done. By Caesar. Mm -hmm. Now we're going this. to strain that into there and press the juice out of the garlic. Okay. We press the juice out this of the garlic. This was the idea was that people were to bite into pieces of garlic. But it's such a puree of That's garlic fine. at that point. That's perfect. So here, you see the bottom part oh, here? Oh. Next. Next. Well, I'm going to saute the croutons in this. So they're just gently flavored with olive oil. So those croutons, we put a little bit of melted butter on dice of bread, toss it gently, and then put it on that tray in the oven until they brown nicely like this. OK, so this now is the base. we can take our hearts of romaine. You would uh, remove a little bit of the grain here. Then you take all the outer leaves out. We just want the hearts. Or oh, you just want the white part. Yeah. No. Yes, we have beautiful heart in the center here. Yeah. All of this nope. goes in there. Mm -hmm. And those have been washed, of course, those removed from the water and, ready. and properly drained and all again. Ready. Now we're going to toss this with this delicious olive oil okay. and a bit of salt. Will you toss it? Yes. Please. This is a, a nice green virginal. I mm. can see the color. That's a know? lovely oil. Yes. And I want a bit of lemon in it. 
We can put the lemon juice right through our... Uh... OK. That's about it. And now, did we put the salt in yet? A little bit. I put a little bit of salt. A little bit more. OK. This way. And interestingly enough, because I had a long talk with Rosa Cardini, who was Caesar's daughter. daughter. Oh, yes. And she said it never had any anchovies in it. Never? So do never. you want some anchovies? No, because oh. she never did it. And the surprising thing was he had an egg in it. It's a one-minute egg. But this was to give a creaminess to the dressing. A little pepper can go in now. OK. You White? can put in black. Black, good. Good. That is exactly one minute. Now. Now what happened? This goes in. That's hot, but OK. And you toss it in? Yes. If you don't want to use the egg, you could use just about a teaspoon of, <laughs> of mayonnaise. And now we're going to have some cheese on it. Freshly grated Parmesan cheese of a good quality. This is a Parmigiano. Reggiano, eh? Yeah. Then in go the croutons, well, and then we eat it. Here come the eggshell. Oh, well, that's good for you, calcium. Well, it shows people we use fresh eggs. And this on top, that's beautiful. But I think with using eggs, be very careful where you buy them. Make sure that they're always refrigerated. They should be hot out of the hen into the refrigerator. And then you keep them refrigerated all the time. You don't let them sit around. No, any any herbs in it? it? No. Nope. No herbs? No. Don't toss anymore. Not, OK. Now we eat it. That's it. Now we go in the pan and we taste the salad. To say it's very good. It's, it's a very simple salad, really. You don't want herbs and anchovies the, and things like that. Always do it with the anchovy, but that's well, quite good. You've adulterated it. I Some do that. people like that. I think that's an awfully nice salad. It's delicious. It's very simple. Well, are we finishing the bowl of salad or are we well, moving to another salad? No, we're going to do several other ones. Yes, we're going to do potato salad mm -hmm. and a classic salad niçoise. Now we're going to do an American-type potato salad. I use Yukon Golds here, or, or new red potatoes, and they've just been boiled until they're just tender through, but you don't want them overcooked. And I've just cut them up. And then we're going to add various things to it, some chopped onion. chopped onion, and I have some chopped celery. This has got very much according to your taste. And then Jack, would you crumble bacon? Crumble some bacon mm, there and chop it up fine. Cooked, yes, with pleasure. All of it? Yes, I think so. And then if you're going to add hard boiled eggs, which I think are awfully nice in the salad, get one of these egg slicers and. This is a you great trick. Two to ways. The eggs, yes. Here, I'll, I'll, be sure I'll open it you for you. And you put it the other way, right? The other way. And it does and a perfect shop take for an egg salad, you know? That's great. And then we have some chopped chives. Chives, of course. Little chives. They're always yes. nice with it. Sure, I put a little chives in it. I think that's, that's about it. enough. Yes, that's fine. Are you putting? And we need one. One pickle? I think one dill pickle. Oh, and sh some people like coarsely chopped pickle. Or? Oh, fairly fine, I think. either sweet or dill, whichever you prefer. And are you ever going to put mayonnaise in there? I am. OK. And here's our mayonnaise. And you could, rather than are more you giving mayonnaise, me more? you could put in sour cream here. You don't want too much mayonnaise. Here is your salt. And we put some uh, white pepper white in pepper. there? White pepper. Good. And you want, I suppose, to toss it gently enough. You want to put all your seasoning before you toss it, because mm -hmm. if you keep tossing between each of the seasoning, then you'll end up with a puree of potato. Which we don't want. Which we don't want. So. Well, let's see. It should be perfect. And I think we should make the solid somewhat ahead, about that's an good. hour or two ahead. I think that's Very enough good. of everything? Delicious. Mm. 
I love potato salad. I do too. Shall we dress it up? Mm -hmm. I think there is a bit of red leaf lettuce here. You think would work well with it? Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful color here. It's amazing the amount of salad you find in most supermarkets, which years ago you couldn't get any of those variety of salad. That looks good. This is every people's food, you know, potato salad. I think potato salad yeah. is one of the favorites. That looks great. That would be a serving for one. Yes. <laughs> FP1. Maybe two. Maybe two. Good. And a little piece of red pepper on top. Mm -hmm. A few. Be careful of the red pepper because it'll bleed into the salad. We would just put a couple of pieces on yeah. top like that just for effect. You think that's all we need? That's beautiful. Now we're going to do a sort of salad niçoise, this salad inspired by the niçoise, but tampered with by Jack and me. Yes. So first, first <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do a very fast vinaigrette that you can have. You see, I have a bit of garlic. I put mustard in it. Black pepper, salt, vinegar, and you put about, oh, probably a quarter of vinegar to the rest in oil. But it depends on your taste, you know. Just mix it this way. Take it, shake it. And then you have a vinaigrette ready in your refrigerator, you know. So we're ready with this. That was fast enough. Good. So. In our salad niçoise, the classic, what are we going to have? We're going to have red onion. Mm -hmm. You want to give yeah. me the green pepper there? No. Yeah. And maybe the green pepper, if you put it in there, it's a good idea to peel it. You know, and if you have a good vegetable peeler, the way you start this way, then you peel it all around. Now, as you can see, there is some area that the vegetable peeler doesn't get into, like here where there is a pleated and, you know, they are much better this way. So what you do after you've done that, you cut it in the pleat here to separate it this way. So that now when you have your fourth side, you can clean up the side here with your vegetable peeler. So they've been sliced on all sides. You want to slice those? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want them crossways or won't work? Well, just the way you want, doesn't matter. Don't go crossways. Much more digestible if you do them this way, you know. I want to put a bit of red onion. And I want to slice it thin like this. Okay. To kind of separate it, you know. To do maybe a little pile this of red onion. This is going to be really... Onion. A composed salad. A composed salad, exactly. Rather than a dissoir. So shall we arrange this around? All right. We mix our tomato here. Mm -hmm. Some tiny yellow tomato and red one, you know, which are really beautiful. We have again, the green beans, and I think that they should be seasoned first. Where is your dressing? Well, the, here vinaig it is. the vinaigrette is it, but I'm going to put vinaigrette on the, on the whole well, thing, I'm, right? I really like doing them separately, because then you're sure that Everything is properly seasoned. There are the beans, nicely yeah. done. Well, we have your... We have some lovely... ...string beans here, maybe, mm -hmm. here and there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So do we use several types of olives? Just some green and some black, I think. Okay. I mean, this is really country, Mediterranean type of thing. You can use basically anything you want. And we want the eight beef eggs. Okay. Two of them have. And then I like putting a little... A little bit of mayonnaise on mayonnaise. Top. OK. How about the anchovy filet? I think the anchovies across them is very nice. So I'm going to use first the oil of the anchovy filet here. This is a whole and can since with our small... For some people who don't like stuff. anchovies, it's too bad. Don't put, don't put it on. I'll put them across like this. That's yes, a I good think idea. that's nice. As you can see, you can really be imaginative there and create your own salad in one way or the other. And the last one, that's good. We should now spread we should this out. we have a little discussion about tuna fish. Because of the f people that are so afraid of fat and oil, they have influenced the tuna fish people so that we have tuna packed in water. 
It doesn't have nearly the proper taste that tuna packed in oil. A three ounce can of water packed has, what is it, about three grams less of oil. So why ruin the tuna fish just with that tiny amount? So I'm putting the and vinaigrette is, all around on yeah, it. Yeah, and this is beautiful tuna fish. Can you undo that and put it right I think in we there? Put it right in the center here. The south of France, of course, basil. We cannot yes. forget the basil, so maybe we put a little bunch of basil in the center here. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Well, oh, that's a beautiful and salad. And this is a real, I don't know if it's a real salad niçoise, but it's well, a it's good one. our version of the salad niçoise, which well, is the best. Another version is, of course, to do it often young chef in modern cooking are going to do that with fresh tuna. So we could do one portion of this, sauté, and you know, I could saute my tuna with a little bit of vinaigrette Yes, here. that would be nice. You know, a bit different. And uh, oh, cut, this up here. cut the tuna. So this way, I think I'll cook it in fairly large pieces like this. I mean, thin, but fairly long. I'm going to put a little bit of salt here. And in my warm vinaigrette here, I'm going to saute that. This is raw, tuna. raw tuna. This is raw tuna, and it's going to saute very, very fast. You know, 30 seconds on each side. So there, we're going to put some scallion, maybe a little bit of potato, some red onion, some basil, olive, and I saute this. Pyrotechnic cooking. Tuna flambe. Tuna flambe. And by the time, the heat of the pan itself, I shut that off. By the time I finish my salad, it's going to be ready. So we put uh, maybe half a tomato in there, a large tomato or a few small this ones. This is a, a large luncheon salad. Yes. And one egg, maybe one egg or two eggs. I think one egg, because I'd like one left for myself. Oh, good. So here we are. So this is a nice mixture, too, to do an individual one. We have our kind of standard uh, vinaigrette here. Maybe a bit of uh, cracked paper on top. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, I think I'm going to put a little bit of that salad, which they call the mesclun salad, mm -hmm. you know, the mixture of different type of green that you now get in most market. So here I have, nice and fresh. You toss it at the last moment and this is a big luncheon salad, as you say. That's nice. Yes, I could have that for lunch. Oh, very nicely. And now, prepare our fresh tuna here. We'll put it on top of it, you know, this way. That's a hefty salad. Yes. Well, well that's I gonna tell be you. your whole lunch. That's not too bad. It was great fun cooking salad with you. We're going to do it again. We've done lots of salads together. Lots of salad. And I hope you got some new ideas. Yes. Bon appétit. And happy cooking. Good baking salads with you. Great. Presentation of KQED San Francisco.